anyways, I'm headed to High Springs to have this cutie pie. Hey, baby girl. Hey, pink girl. This little cute thing. I have her scan for a chip. She's lost. Tyler found her tied to a telephone pole. In the heat of the summer, There was they did put out water. What I think is she was running on the road and somebody probably was headed to work to keep her safe instead of letting her run and get hit. Probably tied her to a pole and put water out. But anyways, that's not good enough. So Tyler was kind of freaked out because she's a, she's a doodle. or a doodle. But anyways, I put her on Pet Finder in my area and now I'm headed and turning into a local vet's office to see if she has a chip. My vets aren't here. Y'all know my vet's in Williston, where I grew up. Anyways, Millie came with me. <laughs> silly Millie. Do you silly Millie. Tyler's dog. Grandma's babysitting today. You stay. So. I don't have another leash. I guess I could use my purse, huh? Usually Millie has a collar on and today she doesn't have a collar on. She just has her bandana on. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. I got, I got this one, this one, all I gotta do is put the shelves in, but I have it together, and then I've got this one here. I'm just, it's not been easy. Whatever it was. I always forget which way to lay the board.
The reason I haven't been doing this for a few days, I have got some type of nerve pain in my backside area that comes around here. And it's been pretty intense. So I'm trying to get a referral to a neurologist. Sounds like shingle pain, but I don't have blisters. Um, it's been going on for about a week now. Today we found, Tyler picked up a dog that was tied to a telephone pole with a bowl of water like somebody abandoned it. I told Tyler, I said, I bet you it was loose on the road and somebody had to go to work and tied it up so it didn't get run over. Anyways, but even the vets thought it was abandoned, but I put it on Pet Finder and word of mouth and it chased a deer. It, I found its owner. I went and got her and went and got her scanned to see if she was chipped. She wasn't. But Facebook, we found her her owner on Facebook. She posted she was missing her dog. And what's crazy is I took her to her vet and had her scanned her. Nobody in the vet office recognized her. All those young girls in there, you would have thought somebody would have recognized her. But she's only a year old, so she's probably pretty healthy and probably been there only once for shots, you know? <sighs> but the lady was really nice. She was a doodle. And I told her, I said, if you ever want to rehome her, let me know. She said, I just might take you up on that. She said she's really naughty. And they have a bunch of golden doodles. And she says she's the naughtiest one. But you know what? The naughty puppies are the best ones. Marley was the worst puppy. It turned out to be the best dog in the whole world. What it is, is they're not dumb. They're smart. Huh. She's smart for their own good. My toes hurt bending like that. I'm so glad this is the last one. And then I gotta get, I don't know, I think I just might paint these here white. I think. I need to use them. I might move. I don't know. I know one thing, I like having something right here behind the couch. Kind of like, as I say, we roll with the punches. <laughs> we never know what Nancy's going to do from day to day. I saw a child's feet hiding behind the curtain. But when I turned, I left. And a lot of you are probably thinking, why isn't your husband helping you? He has helped me, but that's something in our relationship we need to work on. I'm really bossy. I grew up on a farm, so I'm very independent. It drives him crazy. So he says it's my way or the highway. I try. <laughs> so, yeah. We just do things differently. I'm MacGyver, and he's black or white, and I am like, gray. There's a will, there's a way. Like, that did not go together easily it, like the holes didn't match up with the brackets so he wanted to push one corner up against the wall and one 
up against the other. I said, no, I want it to flow. And he threw his hands up in the air because his brain says, it's not working that way. You need to do it this way. And I'm like, no, we can make it work. We're going to make it work. And we did. So that's, that's why he's not in here helping me. I drive him crazy. So it's probably a better thing he's in there. But he does help me with the heavy stuff. So it's just his bending over is murder. And I'm sure he's glad he's not in here too. <laughs> but he does help me in case anybody's wondering. But I hope someone can understand and relate to my bossy butt. I am too much like my daddy. And, he, and he's taught me everything I know, you know, so. And he calls me my dad's name. My dad's name is Dick Holsher, and he goes, okay, Dick Holsher. <laughs> you always have to face the door closed to keep out the cold draft. So, I was sure she must be hiding down there. And that's not a bad thing. He's had the yard pressure washed, and Ricky's here who does, he removes our trees. I didn't realize it was Ricky, our lawn guy, that removed all those trees out there. I thought he only mowed, but uh, he didn't remove, there was a dead pine tree right by the house. He didn't remove that because it required some special equipment. They had to cut the tree in three pieces carefully so it didn't fall on my house or my neighbor's house. That pine tree was at least a hundred years old. That's Mr. Fletcher that used to own my land. The man, the guy that behind me, his daddy owned this land here. And one day he told me these trees out here were a hundred years old. So, yep. So, anyways, the pine tree got hit by a it was a female pine tree. It, it threw, you know, it, we had cones in the yard every year. And, um, whoops. But, uh, lightning hit it, so we had to, we had to chop it down. This is the view of my computer, my desk. It's kind of a nightmare, but that's where the shelves are going to go. Okay, this is the view of my computer, my desk. It's kind of a nightmare, but that's where the shelves are going to go.
so I'm hoping the shelf will fit in there. Last night, I <laughs> walked out the back door. This huge woofy was right at the door, like between me and the door jam. And it hopped in the house. I was like, holy crap, and I didn't have a shoe or anything. So anyways, I ran in the house, found a shoe, and it hopped in. It jumped in this, this box here. <laughs> I grabbed this box and slung it outside. And I couldn't find it. And then finally I took the black checkered bag and I slammed it on the ground upside down and it came out. It was huge. Yeah, it's a dead spider. I killed it. It scared me. I was screaming. It was coming from downstairs. But anyway, so now I can bring you guys in a little bit closer. Let's see. I'm going to turn you around. Well, now you get to see my hot mess. So let's get my shelves installed, the actual shelves, now that we got the hardest part together. So what do y'all think? This side of the room is going to be my neutrals, my neutrals and probably some of my cakes. I think I'm going to bring some of my neon colors from the other room, like three of every color to just make this room pop a little better. I'm not sure. We'll see. And uh, where's my chair? I'm gonna sit down because my back hurts. Uh, let's get. Whoa. Well, Millie. Perfect. I'm going to ask Tyler to anchor it tonight. I don't know what he did the other night, but he did a good job. That's it for now. It's looking good. I almost want to get another row of shelves. 
I don't know. Maybe I just need some. I'll just put stuff up top. But one of my um, Yarny sister, Jojo, she's got them um, up to the ceiling. They're gorgeous. I think she got some nicer ones than I got. But anyways, I love these so far. I, I just wish they were made a little better. So you have to be very careful putting them together. Yep. Or you can break them. So I have a few boo-boos, but they're hidden. <laughs> All right. I love y'all. I'll see you later.